rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now, our smiths are forging swords and fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. English use very advanced weapons and armor. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, researching loom makes your villages harder to kill. To research loom, click the town center, then click the research loom button. Good. Researching technology costs resources, but improves your civilization. While you're researching, you can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. Good! You're on your way to the feudal age. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, you need 500 food. Arms! The English are making a sneak attack! and food in forage bushes. Villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food. Oh. Upgrading to man-at-arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men-at-arms. Congratulations! Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the village, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. <laughs> English are no match for your warriors. The English are attacking again. Longshanks has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse. He's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle.